Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld Mod Testing, where today we are looking at LTS Military, which, as you remember from other LTS uh, things, requires LTS systems, so, uh, but we already have it, so it's not on here, but it is listed on a previous episode. I also added MR Military Weapon Contractor, and safe house security forces now those two are made by chinese uh modders i believe so i'm not sure exactly how much information we'll get um i'm hoping they have the english version along with it but we shall see but since there's no research we will get right to the hunting i guess so let's see what we're looking for um would be here nope oh good wait uh no carbine's not it uh no um precision rifle ah okay so this looks like our first set of rifles now these may look like they might be from the Oh, no, these are from the military weapon contract. Okay, good. So they are in English. That is perfect. I was hoping they would be, but you never know. You know, so I was a bit concerned. But, all right. So we're good then. Uh, which one was that? <laughs> I already forgot which one we were looking at here. Um, oh, crap. Where the hell was it now? No, it wasn't you. Oh my, multi, no, it was precision rifling, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, so we have the HK416 MSR rifle. Boy, that's a bunch of letters I don't know. Anyway, uh, an HK416C rifle. And then we got... MK-18A rifle. Uh, MK-18B rifle. Alright, so what else do we have here? MK-18SD rifle. Uh, again, looks like they're just throw throwing letters together, but I'm probably going to go on a limb and say that they're actual rifles. I don't know. Uh, MK-18 BSD rifle, because my time in the military only dealt with the M16A1, so, <laughs> I didn't really deal with those, so I don't know. Okay, so this is an M4A1 SD rifle, and then we got the... MP7 SD submachine gun. Now that is still part of this, right? Yeah, weapons contractor. Okay. So we'll go back here. And we have the AR-15 defense, uh, defensive assault rifle. Now I know that's an actual rifle. I've heard of the AR-15 and Quite frankly, you'd have to live under a rock not to have heard about them. Uh, okay, so this is a 300 defensive assault rifle. Uh, uh, safe out security, okay. I may need to expand upon my work area a bit here because this is going to be a lot to do for one uh, person here. So I may have to, once I'm done going over this i may need to do that uh did we add that one yet no okay so let's see here what's next um the 556 five, defensive rifle uh msr 15 224 rifle all right now the assault rifle i believe is not part of it uh no Okay, I didn't think it was. I thought that was part of the original uh, thing. And most of these other ones probably aren't. Now, the P-51 
PSG90, that one sounds like it might be part of uh, one of them, maybe not. Oh, it's the LTS military, okay. That's why that name seemed different than the other ones. Alright, uh, then we have the AX50. Uh, let's see. The AK-4. Um, wait, come on. Let's see. The Scar-H. And... Uh, do-do-do-do. Okay, we got the AK-5. And again, never heard of them. I heard of an AK-47, but... Not the four or the five. Uh, so, again, I'm going to hazard to guess that they're probably a real type of gun, but I have no knowledge of them personally. All right, so that is the first list of weapons, I guess. Uh, I'm thinking there might be more, though, um, because... Let's see. No, it wouldn't be the heavy weapons. No. Specialized. I don't think. <clears throat> nah, I was going to say, I didn't remember seeing a carbine on the... with them, so... Uh, Alright, let's see. Uh, gas oper... Oh, boy. Okay. Under gas operations, we got... Chain shotgun, which may or may not be. No, that one's not. Okay. Um, the Spaz 12 is. That's a, from the LTS military. So we'll go ahead and uh, add it to the list. And then we have the Remington 1187. Uh, that's another one from the LTS military, so we'll add it onto the list. And then we have the... Uh, I'm not even going to guess how to pronounce that one. The Benel M4? I don't know. But that's from also from the LTS military, so it will... Likewise, go on the list. Now, I'm going to assume the heavy SMG is... Yeah, that's standard. Alright. Um, the rest of these are probably... Well, I say that, but... These ones here may not be. Uh, what about you? Are you... No, you're from Rimsonol. So, you're not what I'm looking for. Uh, let's check out this one. Okay, it is from the military, so let's go ahead and we are going to put in the UMP-45. Uh, we will put in the MP-5SD. Um, okay, so the KSP-58 as well as the MK4. Alright. That is a huge ass list. So I'm definitely going to need to set up for other people to do this stuff. Alright. What do... Oh, great body armor. Yay! Uh, okay, so... Let's see. That is... Heavy flak armor. It's Rimsonol. Oh, let's see. Riot armor's probably the... Okay, that's insectoid, so that ain't... Uh, I'm gonna think that this M90's probably... Yeah, that's a military one, okay. So let's go ahead and... Get the M90 armor... We will go ahead and put the M90 
pants on the list. Uh, body armor 12 will go on there. And M90 cap. The M90 barrette. Uh, the M90 helmet. Let's see. Uh, okay, so here's one of the ones that I, another one I was concerned about. The Make the Shaw Concepts Carrier V12. Uh, well, it seems to have the Chinese, but it also has English, so that's good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put that on there. We will put the, oh, come on. Uh, wait, are these the same way? Concept carrier V2 and V2. They all say V2, so what's the difference? I guess just the design concept of them? I don't know. We're going to go ahead. Put them on there and we'll check them out in a minute here. If I can get over to the proper thing. Alright. So now they're on the list. Okay, anything else? Blowback. Uh, uh, modified version. It, uh, it's home safe security. Christ, I didn't think there was that many guns in these mods. Only seen a few on the workshop page. Alright. So this is a 79 SMG modified version. Uh, heavy pistol. Are you? No, you're Rimsonal. All right. So you're not what I need. Um, I'm gonna think this cape is this probably. Yeah, it's a military one. Okay. So we'll put that. We'll put the Glock. Because that's probably a military one. And uh, this stat, Stucka Oat. I don't know. Jens can decipher it yourself. Pause. Look at it. Whatever you need to do. Okay. Gunsmithing. Anything in here for me? Uh, AT4. Uh, what are you? Uh, military. So, yep. I believe that is one of the ones I need, so on the list. Alright, uh, any other ones? Uh, flash launcher, salt off hunting rifle. I think the rest of those we already had. How about machining? No, it looks like everything we already had. Uh, fire phone, oh, batteries, basic tech. Animals, gunpowder, nope. Plate armor, I don't think. I think that's... No, that's medieval, okay. Um, smithing. Uh, we got airframe. And an ANPVS-15. Whatever the heck those are. Um, alright, well we'll go ahead and add them. And we'll add that, and then we're going to check one more thing here, and nope. Alright, good. Thank goodness. That should be it for that one. Now, let's see if we have anything in here. Uh, Inferno shots, uh, security forces, flash. No, 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 no. Uh, nope. Uh, we got negatory. What about you? No, I think we had all that. Uh, cryo gas weapons. Uh, cryo weapons. Are all from a different mod. That's from a different mod. Uh, do 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 do. Okay, I don't see anything else that i definitely confirm is from one of our uh pointed mods Hold on, double check this yeah okay that's uh, right all right uh one last thing we need to check is uh, 
Make sure there ain't nothing in the tailoring area for these things. Uh, ghillie suit, that should be standard, right? Yeah, that's the vanilla armor expanded. Uh, what about you? You are expanded, okay. Uh, I think most of these are from expanded. Uh, I think that the uh, armor and that that we got from are on the uh, crafting machining bench is all that we add. Uh, let's see. Civilized hood, universal pet scar, pre scout, yeah. Alright, so nothing in tailoring. So it looks like everything is in this big long list on our machining table. Which is both good and bad. Good, because I only have to set up machining tables. Bad, I gotta set up machining tables. Anyway, start at top. Uh, this MK416 is 75 still, 7 components. The HK416C is 90 still, 6 components. The uh, MK18A is 90 still, 6 components. Uh, the MK18B is 90 still, 6 components. Uh, the MK18SD is, you guessed it, 90 still, 6 components. And I'm gonna guess the BSD is probably 90 still and 6 components. Oh, at least they're consistent. Okay, so that was that one. Uh, now, the M4A1SD is 90 still and 6 components. Well, at least they're not overly expensive. The work requirement seems a bit much, but this thing hasn't read the proper work requirements in a long time, so I don't know. Anyway, this is the MP7SD. It's 70 still and 5 components, so a little bit cheaper, actually. This is the AR15, which is 80 still 6 components. Uh... The 300 defense assault rifle is 75 still, 8 components. The 556 defensive rifle is 80 still, 4 components. Um, up next, we have the 224, which is 90 still, 7 components. The PSG 90 is 70 still, 9 components. The AX50 is 100, still 10 components. Okay, that's a little more, but still not bad. I mean, at least they ain't advanced components, so we're good. The AK4, 90, still 4 components. The SCAR H is 90, still 6 components. <clears throat> uh. The AK-5 is 75, still 6 components. The G-36 is 80, still 10 components. Alright, then we have the Spaz-12. It's 70, still 5 components. The Remington Model 1187 is 90, still 6 components. Uh, this one I can't pronounce. The Benel, Beniel M4 is 100 still, 7 components. The UMP45 is 75 still, 4 components. The MP5SD, 75 still, 5 components. The MK, M, ah, the PKM, oh my goodness, letters. And I skipped one, but it's 100 still, 6 components. The KSP58 is 120 still, 6 components. And that's a little bit more still, but still not bad. Okay, so now we're looking at the M90 uniform, which is 80 fabric. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll 
clear this. Uh, we have the material comp things and textiles. All right, so I am going to make it out of carbon fiber. So that is what I'm setting that to. The M90 pants are going to be 60 fabric. And again, I think I will set that to carbon fiber. Just in case I decide to have my people wear it. Oh, did I miss? Oh, wait, no, this is the next. I forgot. We're still going through the list. It's like, wait, did I forget to set these down? Nope. Just haven't got to them yet. Body armor 12. 50 cloth, one advanced component. Wow, that's our first advanced component. Huh. I wonder why these other things are available, though. Oh, that's why. I missed that part. 100 metal. Okay. So we need 100 metal or 1,000 if you're using gold or uh, gold or the uh, jade, I believe. Or no, gold and silver are the two that require 1,000. But we're not going to use either one of those. All right. So it's 100 and then... 50 regular cloth and one advanced component. So we'll turn on the advanced component. And I guess we'll use carbon fiber plate. So, okay. Anyway, there we go. Then we have the M90 cap. That one is 30 fabric. And I guess we'll go with the carbon Kevlar for that one. Uh, and then we have the breadth. That one is 30 fabric, and we can go with the car carbon Kevlar again. And we have the M90 helmet, which is 50 metal. Okay, so that's a little different. Um, let's see, what do we want to make it out of, though? Huh? We've got a crap ton of iron we can make it out of. Uh, make out copper. <laughs> um, or we could just use carbon fiber plating and be done with it. Okay. Then we have the Shaw Concept Carrier. Again, not sure about this, but it's 25 cloth, 60 still, two components. All right. And that is the same for the next one. And at least the work value is only 10,000. So that means it would probably be roughly maybe 100 or so. Maybe a little bit more, I don't know. But 25 claw, 60 still, two components. Uh, that carrier is the same. 25 claw, 60 still, two components. And then we have the uh, 7 type. 79 SMG that is 70 still six components. The K Pist is 40 still two components. The Glock 19 is 25 still two components. Uh, this one is 50 still and seven components. Uh, the AT4 is 25 still, 25 chem fuel, which makes me think that might be a flamethrowing weapon. And we have this airframe, which is 40 metal, 2 components, 10 plastil. So that is the first uh, plastil that we've required, uh, which i got to make sure I leave the plastil turned on, I guess. Or else they won't be able to make it. Okay. Anyway. Uh, this one is probably going to be the same. But here we go. 40 metal. 2 components. And 10 plastil. So again. We're going to want to keep plastil turned on. Uh, plastil. Thank you. And then we're going to need. Carbon fiber plate and components hopefully i have enough plating if not i'll have to get some more made 
uh, and the last one is the ANPVS15, which is four components and ten plastil. So a little bit expensive with plastil, but the workload's not very high, so I'm thankful for that. All right, so that was the extensive list that we have had. And that took us the first half hour of this episode, so now would be the point that I could just move on and uh, skip to where we have weapons, but honestly, it's going to take me a good bit. So we will see uh, what happens, I guess. Um, but yeah, so we'll be back. Hopefully, with all the stuff that we require for showing off. So, be back in a bit. <laughs> 